Today I have the 20 best M1, M2, M3 MacBook accessories that I use every day. Welcome back to the channel. So today I got a good one. It's gonna be 20 different accessories that I use every single day. I have an M2 MacBook Air sitting over here, but these will be good on any M1, M2, or M3 MacBook. So sit back and relax. I'm just gonna go through them all because there's 20 of them, a lot of them. But these are gonna be the ones, these are the accessories that I think are some of the best, and I use them every single day. And you know me, I don't like to spend a lot of money. Some of them are more premium, some of them are more budget. But stay tuned, watch the whole thing. There's some good ones at the end as well. Let's get into it. All right, number one, I don't like the Magic Mouse. I like a very simple mouse though, so I don't like a ton of million buttons on it or anything like that. So what I recommend for that is I like to travel with the two. I recommend this, it's the Logitech Signature M550 mouse right here. Here's the little box here. So what you wanna do with this one, and this one's, you know, it's a very simple mouse, but it's the ergonomics are perfect on it. It sits a lot higher than the Magic Mouse, as you can see here. It's kind of an in-betweener where it's not too big, not too small, it's perfect for travel if you wanna throw this in a bag or something. Full Bluetooth, full wireless, it has both capabilities on it. Battery lasts forever on this thing. Tracking's perfect, and it has like a rubber edges on the sides here that make it grip really well. So overall, I totally recommend this mouse. I've had a couple of them now, never had a problem. The Signature, what is it, the M550 wireless, go for it. So number two is if you travel or if you have an external monitor, you want an external keyboard for your MacBook, I can't you know, recommend this enough. This is gonna be, what is this called? The Satachi Slim X1 keyboard. Now this one's a very, very low profile slim keyboard, very similar to the iMac keyboard. In fact, I call it the perfect iMac replacement. It's only $69 right now, so it's actually a little bit cheaper than you know, the one that comes with the iMac, and I think it's better. It's heavier, it's full aluminum down there, and uh, the keys are very similar, but it's just easy to type on. So if you're looking for a kind of a travel keyboard here, and you want it to be kind of like the iMac keyboard, just really small and light, but still solidly built. This is one of the best here. Full Bluetooth capability as well. The uh, Sateki X1 Bluetooth keyboard. All right now, if you're looking for more of a typist kind of keyboard that you, you, know, you type a ton of stuff on, but you like mechanical keyboards, let me go ahead and show you this one. So I just did a video on this one. Let me actually find it over here. I'll have links to all this in the video description as well if you wanna check these out. This is the Sateki SM1. This is a 75% wireless Bluetooth keyboard as well. And the reason I love this thing is it was basically gonna be, it, it sits up a lot higher, the profile. You can see it here, I don't know if you can see that on my desk. It sits up like an inch or two so you have better ergonomics when typing. But it's also a mechanical keyboard. Listen to this, hear that sound? It's the beauty of mechanical keyboards. Perfect sound on it, typing experience is perfect. And this is kind of a, a mechanical keyboard made for a Mac. It's got, like I said, a full aluminum frame, super heavy Bluetooth and it looks just like a Mac, so it's perfect. Comes in a couple different colors. I'll have a link to this. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's around 99 bucks, but I think it's totally worth it. All right, I have a couple portable monitors now, and the first one's gonna be the budget entry into the field here. So this is gonna be a 1080p USB-C monitor that works perfect with all your MacBooks. In fact, I bought this a while ago, and this is the reason I like this so much is, that, first of all, it's only 1080p, it's, it's, a, it's a matte screen, you can see it there, you can see when it hits the light like that, so I don't know if you like that or not. I don't like them that much because if you get them dirty, they're hard to clean, you know, the matte finish on them. Long story short, this is only $159. This is called the InnoView Inno Portable Monitor. It's a 15.6 inch monitor, and uh, overall, I like it because of it does have a full, like, aluminum, black aluminum back on it. You can see that there, it's all aluminum, which is actually a really high build quality. Never had a problem with this connected to you know, my iMacs and my MacBooks and stuff. Really, really good. So this is kind of my budget entry if you want a portable monitor, and I'll have a link to this as well. 160 bucks, you can't go wrong. But if you want the kind of Cadillac of portable monitors, it's right here. This is the Satsu. It's basically a monitor that's it's a full, it's almost like an iPad on a stand here. And this one's gonna be the most premium one I've ever used. It's, it looks like it's made for a Mac. And I'll be showing you pictures as I'm talking about it. The build quality is incredible. It's all full aluminum. It's got USB-C on it, and it's got a whole bunch of other connections on the back, including it's even got an SD card reader built into it. But the reason you wanna get something like this is because of the way you can actually change this. So you can obviously put this you know, this is kind of the low profile if you want it next to you on the side of the desk. But you can flip it up like this. You can have it in a portable, you know, kind of a portrait mode as well. And then actually, let me go the other way. You can do it that way. But then you can actually flip it up way up here like this. See that? And up here, you can actually have your MacBook opened up and have it below it. And I'll show you some pictures of that as well. It's perfect. I mean, and then you can actually take the standoff and have it super low profile. So it has all these different ergonomics in it. And the beauty of this thing, let me actually get over here. The, the main kicker on this thing is it's actually 2560 by 1600. So super high DPI in this thing. I don't I know I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of light there, but it's a super high resolution monitor. It's, it's almost as good as the MacBook screen. So you're gonna get that full kind of brightness and full, you know, just the resolution is incredible when you use this thing. So I call it the Cadillac of uh, 
jokingly, but the Cadillac of these kind of external monitors. Now you're gonna pay up for this. It comes in this blue color. It comes in kind of a space gray, which I'm not sure they have. They're, they're kind of making more of those. And then it comes in a black, like a matte black color. I'll have a link to it, but it's 499 bucks. Look for it to go on sale, I think, one day. But overall, it's a great monitor. And I even think for that cost, it's worth it. All right, the next product is another like high quality kind of top of the line product. If you want a really good laptop stand, this is called the Banks, B-E-N-K-S laptop stand. Now listen to this clicking. It's got this, hear that? It's got a very precision click when you actually move it. But the reason I like this thing is it's just made so well. And I'll show you some close-ups as I'm talking about it. This thing can hold, I mean, it seems like it can hold a person, but it's really well made. The hinges are huge on it. It's got that nice rotation you get it's very you know comforting to hear that sound but overall this thing can sit in different you know all different angles it can go very high very low it's just kind of like again one of the best laptop stands you're only going to buy once again it's not the cheapest though it's around 77 bucks you can see it right here and so it's it's not going to be the cheapest it used to be like a hundred dollars it's it's but it's it's milled of a solid aluminum very heavy chassis on it so i think it's probably one of the best out there again you're going to pay up for it but if you like kind of your desk to look really nice and all that kind of stuff this is one of the ones i recommend this next one is a little odd one, but I love this thing. I built this, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. This is an external enclosure. It doesn't include the SSD, but this is the Quizlab um, M.2. It's a 2230 size external little enclosure. I'll show you some close-ups. So the reason I love this thing is it's it's got a rugged enclosure. It's got like a little rubber bumper on it. You basically build it yourself. It gets about 800 megabytes per second, so it's just good to take you know to the coffee shop with you. But it's so tiny. Look at the size of this thing. I take it everywhere with me, and I put a one terabyte drive in there. So the enclosure itself is about 30 bucks, and I'll show you that up here. So that's not too bad. And what you have to do is I paired it with this silicon power, this teeny little SSD drive. This is the one terabyte UD90 for about 76 bucks. So you're going to be around a little over 100 bucks, but you get a terabyte of storage that you can put in your pocket. It's super fast. I mean, as far as they go, I mean, eight, you know, I may be 850, 900 megabytes per second, somewhere in that range. And I love the thing. I use it. I have way faster, you know, SSDs like this, but I use this all the time just because of the size and the build quality once you get it all built up. So I totally recommend this and I recommend this, you know, to kind of pair it with the silicon power and it'll work perfectly. All right, so if you want to step it up a notch, here's the Acasis. It's the Acasis 40 gigabit per second M.2 SSD enclosure as well, Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. So this one, I've tested a whole bunch of them, and I actually pair this all the time. Let me just show you. I paired this with the Western Digital SN770. That's what I tested it with. You can see that drive right here. Really good drive, about 79 bucks for a terabyte. But I love this thing because this will produce about 2,800, 2,900 megabytes per second. Really fast external SSD storage, like almost two to three, time, three times the speed of this one down here. So if you need really, really fast storage, I've never had a problem with the Acasis. It's, it's high quality. It's about $100. It goes on sale. Sometimes you might see it for around 80 at times. But I totally recommend this Acasis, one of the best. And then another good option here, and this is kind of a little bit better build quality in this one, but you're going to pay up a little bit more. Right now, this is $120 on Amazon, but I actually just saw it for $100 bucks like last month, so it goes on sale. This is the Sateki M.2 enclosure. Again, it's a 40 gigabit per second, Thunder, you know, Thunderbolt 4 basically enclosure, whatever you want to call it. But this one I actually was able to get on that same SN770 drive, around 3,300 megabytes per second. So super fast on this one. They claim it can even go faster. Just the build quality of this, it's all solid aluminum, um, easy. There's no tools to get into this thing where you can actually install the SSD drive, which I like. And it's just, the, 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 you know, the milled aluminum is very, very high quality. Um, these other ones are a little bit less expensive and a little bit more cheaper made, but they've, I've never had a problem with them. This one over here, though, is a little bit more premium. So if you want to pay up a little bit, the Sateki, otherwise the Acasis works perfect. If you want to get that 2800 at 3300 megabytes per second, obviously add your own SSD. All right, so when I'm traveling or I just need a basic hub, I've, I've had tons of them. I've reviewed, you can check out my channel. I've probably reviewed 40 of them. One I keep going back to is just this basic Anchor hub right here. It's called the Anchor USB-C hub. I'll have a link to this. It's the 341 USB-C 7-in-1. The reason I like this thing is it's just, it's just solid and it works all the time. It does come with HDMI, two SD card readers, a power delivery up to, I think, 100 watts. Then it's actually got a USB-C data, so you, that's a you know, quality one there. And then two USB-A, five gigabit per second. So overall, these things just work perfect for me. I plug it into any MacBook or any Mac I have. And I've always used this. This is kind of an older one, and it's very inexpensive. Expensive. It's like 25 bucks, but if you're looking for a, a kind of just a workhorse of a hub, this one you can't go wrong with. Now, if you want to even go cheaper than that, you don't need all those ports. If you just need a couple, a couple USB-C and a couple USB-A, I recommend this one. But this is an SSK USB-C hub by SSK. This one's only $18.99. Um, I've tested it though. It's got two USB data, two USB-C data, two USB-A data. 
I believe they're both at 10 gigabits per second. And uh, one of them is a power actually delivery as well. So you can use it for both data and power in. But these things just work perfectly. I've had no problems with them. They're very inexpensive, SSK. And uh, again, it's 18 or 19 bucks. So you can't go wrong if you just want a very, you know, I, I, when I go to the coffee shop, this is so light. I usually take this with me just in case I need USB-A. Of course, it doesn't have the USB or the, um, the SD card reader. So that could be a problem. And then I take the anchor. All right, so for chargers, there's a company called Voltme, V-O-L-T-M-E, and I'm gonna show you some close-ups of this, but this one actually is only 15 bucks, and this gives you two USB, two USB-C, it's up to 30, I think 34 watts, so it's very similar to like the Apple one that comes with the MacBook Airs. Very good, though, charger. These, this is a company that's very inexpensive, but I've tested them and very good. So this one's only $14.99, but if I, and here, here's, here it is right here, you can see it's 38% off right now, but look at their overall systems here. If you go into their, they have one, like they have ones for $8.99, $20, $9 for one with USB-A and USB-C. So very inexpensive, but the ratings are always super high. 4.6, 4.7, you know, they just work really well for Macs. So that company, Volt Me, they have a whole bunch of different ones in here that are pretty incredible. And in fact, they even make, let me see if I can grab this over here. They even make cables. And I'll, let me actually grab these cables here get in here. So they actually have these cables that they come and these are only 12 bucks by this company, same company, VoltMe. These are two USB-C cables for charging and data. They work perfectly. I charge all my MacBooks with them. $11.99 for two of them. This one's actually comes in a really cool braided kind of blue color. So it matches the, the you know, the, the blue MacBook over here perfectly, but it does come in a whole bunch of other colors for 12 bucks and you get two of them for $12 and they work perfectly. All high quality braided. You cannot beat these things for the money. Great company. It's called Volt Me. Definitely check them out. All right, this next one, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of it, but if you're looking for a way, you know, higher charger, this one goes up to 140 watts. This one's the A, it's A-O-H-I, I don't know how to say that, MagCube 140 watt USB charger. On the front of it, it has two USB-C, one USB-A, and you can, you know, it'll charge just about anything combined up to that 140 watts. It'll, it's intelligent enough to break all the power up. So if you're, you know, charging three different devices, it's going to evenly give the power out depending on what needs the power. It's got a flippable plug in the back over here in the back, and it comes in this really cool orange or yellow, yellow color. It does come in black, I believe, also. So anyways, check this out. I've, had, I've been using this for a while. If you want a fast charger, you need a 100 watt charger or 100 even higher than 100 watts. Although, like I said, this will just split up the power for you, but it's capable of up to that 140 watts total. And uh, let me just see here. This is a GAN Plus laptop charger, totally compatible with MacBooks and stuff. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's about 80 bucks, $79.99, but I think totally worth it. It's one of the best out there. Check that one out. For the next one, this is kind of a huge battery, and I needed it to charge my MacBooks. Now this one actually, I use this still, but I have another one I'm gonna show you. This one's called Rav Power. They don't make this any longer, but this can actually charge a MacBook. Let's say you're out and about, you can charge your MacBook off this battery. Just plug it in, it'll charge a full, full MacBook, full charge, even on an M2 Air. But the one I wanna show you that's actually, I have, I just don't have it with me right this second. This one's one of the better ones, and like I said, I use this one all the time. It's just at the office right now. This is the Ugreen 145 watt power bank. You can see here, 2,500, 25,000 milliamps, I'm sorry. This one, if you can look in here, let me see if I can find it. It, it says that it can, and I've verified this right here. It says it can charge a MacBook Pro 14, 3, 1.3 times. So more than once a MacBook 14 inch. The air is over here just as much or even a little bit more, maybe 1.5 times. So if you're out and about and you need a charger, um, this one's perfect. It has you know full readout digital, has a whole bunch of different connections, but USB-A and USB-C. You plug it into your MacBook and you can go out and travel. This thing will charge it one to one and a half times and you don't even need to plug in anywhere. So I take this with me when I, get, I, even though the batteries are so good on these things, I almost never need it. But when I do need it in a pinch, I know I have over a full charge left on these things. And this thing's 76 bucks, but one of the biggest lifesavers in the world. I totally recommend it. You green, pick one up. This next little cable is a very inexpensive thing and they don't make this one anymore, but I'm gonna recommend the company. This is Lention. This is, all this is, is, and I'll show you a picture over here. It's $12.99 for here. You get a three pack for that. Look at this. So $12.99, it's basically gonna be USB-C on one side and then a USB-A, so you can plug in USB-A devices into your MacBook. So if you have a MacBook with only USB-C ports, I always travel with a cable like this, and these ones are three for $12.99, same company. I totally trust this company. So you plug that into your MacBook and you can plug in any USB-A devices. Just throw it in your bag. You always have it just in case of an emergency for a quick, let's say an SSD drive or something needs USB-A. Perfect for it. I totally recommend these for 12 bucks. I had bought two of these for 12 bucks before with the longer cable, but they don't make them anymore, but they make these shorter ones exactly the same. They're perfect. All right, I did a video on almost all this stuff, so check out my channel, but I did a video on this, a full one. This is the Tom 
Tomtak flap laptop bag. The reason I love this thing so much is it's a premium laptop bag. It's around $80, but it's totally worth it. Not only does it have pockets where you need them, it also protects your MacBook perfectly. I don't even use a sleeve anymore. I basically throw my M2 MacBook Air in here, 15 inch, into the bag. It's got a super soft suede inside and it's got a compartment just for your MacBook. It's got a kind of a cinch on the top of it for waterproofing it, and it's got a flap that goes over it. So it's very well protected on this bag. But these bags, a lot of different channels use these. These are some of the best, most attractive bags. Comes in a couple different colors, including black and then kind of an orange color here. You can see that, but black's right over here. There it is, black and brown. But I kind of like this white color here. It's really cool, or it's kind of a grayish color. Long story short, this is one of the best well-made bags by TomTech. They make the best bags out there. Totally recommend this. Just check out, check out the website and see if you like it. And then let's wrap this up. So if I do need a travel bag, I tend to like one that has a handle like this and also has a strap on it like this over here so I can carry it around with me. And again, this one's by TomTok as well. It's one of the best bags out there and you pay a little bit more for these. But this thing, like all of them, they have these kind of what they call in the corners, they have like, what do they call, corner armor. So it's a soft inside, very soft suede inside, but the armor in there is incredible if you drop it or something. It's just a really overall quality. There's no scratches ever on your MacBook. This one's about 41 bucks or so. You can usually get it on sale maybe a little bit cheaper. Comes in a lot of different colors, you know, blue and gray and everything like that. Overall though, it's just a great laptop bag and this is one of the best. Now this is for my 13 inch Air. I'm getting one for my 15 inch air over here but I love it and I'm gonna get another one right away these are the best all right so we're gonna wrap it up that's a lot of stuff to go over very quickly just wanted to show you the 20 different things that I use on an everyday basis some more expensive some premium some more budget you tell me in the comments what you like and we can definitely list those I'll be doing other videos I get so much stuff but I just tend to kind of gravitate towards these things and I hope you guys like this kind of stuff subscribe if you can help me out helps the channel out and I'll talk to you soon peace